Okay, this is the third time I'm trying to upload this. This person you're seeing here, her name is Rachel Sheriff of Rachel Loves the Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ has told me that he was going to use another agent, another agent, okay? This is my son's laptop because, okay, he was going to use another agent. You see that agent there? He's a false prophet himself. I'm not going to get into the details with him. Look at all the laundry list of videos exposing him. She's a false prophet, okay? I'm going to give you a brief synopsis. She, can't, she tried, prophesied the rapture in July 2013. She said the pit would open up in July 2014. She said that um, she had a dream about the beast coming out of the sea in January 2014. And she referenced an article proving her dream came to pass. But um, she was talking about an article where they discovered the Apollo statue coming out of the sea. But how can it be a dream of hers coming to pass if that statue was discovered like a few years earlier? And her, she's talking about her dream coming to pass in January 2014. If her dream came to pass, wouldn't that have happened around the same time frame? Um, wouldn't it have happened after January 2014? So she also, I mean, that's a number of laundry list of false prophecies she has. They've never come to pass. She's been corrected. She refuses correction like a common Jezebel satanic spirit. Um, she wished that her husband had cancer. I told you, ladies and gentlemen, I do, I do deliverance cases. If you wish somebody has cancer or any disease or any bad situation, you're actually cursing them. You're sending us that particular spirit after them. Okay. There's demons for every sin. The Bible warns that a tongue is a snare. That the tongue is evil. It's full of fire, a, a counterfeit fire to the most high God. And that the tongue is um, un, like I said, untamed and it's wicked. The unrighteous tongue is untamed. It has strange fire and it's wicked. And the Bible warns that you have to watch what you say and do. It's all over scripture. Okay. She supports other crazy doctrines that a woman can wear man's clothes and a man can dress like a woman. When the book of Deuteronomy, I believe it's chapter 22 says that you can't, women can't dress like men. Men can't dress like women. Women can't paint their faces. It's, a, it's an abomination unto God. Okay, um, she's married to a Muslim. It's an ungodly marriage. Jesus Christ warns that you cannot be married to someone who's a different faith. Look what happened to King Solomon when he took on wives that were worshiping false gods, that they were worshiping false gods of a different faith. God chastised Solomon. Solomon did repent. Okay, she supports other crazy doctrines about, uh, in the book of Deuteronomy, it talks about how, I think it's chapter 18, I believe, talks about uh, verse 22 again you have to look it up talks about if you prophesy one time it doesn't come to pass you are a false prophet um it's very clear god never sent that person she overlooks that scripture she only supports the scriptures that support her devil's doctrines okay i've exposed this woman a number of times other brothers and sisters in christ have she attacks them she calls us witches false prophets false allegations for exposing her evil. Now Jesus Christ told me that he was wroth with this woman. And that he was going to use another evil agent to expose her. And that prophecy has come to pass. I was told this six weeks ago. I was told it a month before that. The Lord was always telling me that he is going to expose her. And use another evil agent to do it. Also, you have to be careful who you listen to. If you have a person like this putting out 10 videos a day saying she gets a word from God, a vision from the Lord, be very careful because her words, so-called words, because we know she hears from the devil, are different messages that are not consistent. The prophets of old, the most importantly, Jesus Christ, are the same yesterday, tomorrow, and the day before. They don't change, okay? And their messages are consistent. They're the same. They're concise. Hers are not. So I'm going to let you hear what this person had to say when the Lord used him to expose her. And I'm not promoting this person as a prophet of God because he's not. Here we go. The devil was just going to run ramp shot over it. And uh, I canceled it. You know, I was, I could have been in there. I'm not sure yet. But uh, part two of the video is going to reveal, the, not part two, but my next video is going to reveal a lot of this. The other two, um, they were both pastors. They're under. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna fold this as much as I can, just a little. It's not under attack. One second, Doctors. you guys. It's, they're posing as. She re-uploads what she says from the year before, the year before that. These are some things she said. In 2013, the rapture would happen. Failed. She pronounced cancer over her husband. I involved a pastor and a prophet on here. I'll put links to this. To ask if that was biblical to speak death over your marriage. And they both said no. She, you know, she rejected correction on that. Has her husband got cancer? Like, like, a, like she said, God said would do. God told me my husband's going to get cancer. I don't see God ever saying that. But let's test the spirit. Let's test the prophecy. Does he have cancer? And then she announced recently, God told me to divorce my husband. Okay, show me that in the Bible. God hates divorce. Now, now, now listen. Now she is saying, that God told her that everybody must get out of the churches. Not all churches, not some churches, all churches. She sent me a private message saying, if I didn't leave my church now, then God would curse me. So what I'm going to do is, I don't want to be cursed by God, and I don't want I'm going to stop here. He mentions in this video, you can see it for yourself, how she prophesied about the rapture happening in 2013, and that never happened. You guys need to wake up, not all of you, and be careful who you listen to. Because if you're listening to people like this and you don't have discernment, that's, it's that easy that you can get deserved, um, deceived, excuse me, and sucked in by their lies and their filth. You know what I'm saying? This woman's garments is so black and so filthy that it's going to take eternity to clean them garments. That that's how filthy her garments are. I'm gonna let the I'm gonna continue to play the uh, video. I'm gonna die, so I'm gonna leave my church. I'm gonna stop supporting them. I'm gonna stop arriving there early and helping them set up. I'm gonna stop uh, uh, being involved in intercessory prayer team for everyone else out here on YouTube every Thursday and Friday and three days a month as we fast. I'm gonna stop uh, giving offerings. Uh, I'm gonna stop helping the the the. The poor people who have less than me there that my wife helps uh, support. I'm, I'm just leaving all that. She did put out a video saying, and again, I don't support this person as a prophet, okay? She put out a video saying to leave the churches. What exactly does she mean? God never said that. God would never tell you to leave the churches because although I don't trust the churches and the doctrines that they teach, there are very few churches that are right with God. Few, small number. Remember, many are called, few are chosen. A few are right with God. You know, people have church in their home like I have church in my house. I don't go to an outside church. I have prayer here in my house. Okay? A house church. Some people go to an actual small community church. It's hard to find a good church. It's out there, but it's hard to find a church you could trust that talks about sin, that talks about hell and heaven, and that teaches the doctrines and the word of God as it is written in the word of God, rather than leaning, rather than um, falsifying the word of God. Because God's word is truth. Amen. So it is hard to find a church that will teach you the word of God using the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit leading and teach you right out of the word of God with the Holy Spirit leading. It's hard to find a church like that. They exist, but they're very few in number. Let's 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 go on. Uh, and I'm just going to stay here in my house because, you know, I, I don't want God to curse me. And Rachel said he would. Do you see how crazy that sounds? Will someone wake up today? I'm not leaving my church just because she said so. See, that made her an enemy of mine. She, I now consider her an enemy, and people are flocking to her in support. And I know you're doing it in love, but listen, Jesus said to pray for your enemies. But he also said to depart from them. He said, from, depart from evil and do good. When someone tells you that you are going to be cursed by God if you don't leave your church, that is not biblical, that is not prophetic, it, it is not in the Bible anywhere, 
then they're a false prophet. They have not spoken from God. They're speaking through a satanic spirit, Jezebel. And I, I, I've been talking about this for three years, and people hate me for it, and I'm going to keep on talking about it. Why do you support this woman? You funded her to go all the way. There's another thing I want to address. The Bible says not to take any money when you when you preach in the gospel. Because the disciples never did. Okay? Don't take any donations. Now, if a person's willing to give to your ministry, they have to make that decision to give. That's their choice. But you can't ask them. As a minister of the gospel, you can. It's in the word of God. And be real and say it. But you're going to have to look it up in the scriptures. You're going to have to go into your prayer closet and ask Jesus Christ to guide you. Okay. This woman put out a video before talking about how ministers are begging or how ministers are asking for money. But yet she turns around and she's asking people to support her trip. She made a trip to New York. She's asking people to fund her trip to New York. Ladies and gentlemen, she did not use those funds for the will of God. She used it for herself. And I asked Jesus Christ about it, and that's what I was told. If you just do donate to a ministry, that's up to you. That's your decision. You just got to be careful who you give to. Don't let anybody steal your blessings. Don't let anybody take from you that you can give to somebody else that's in need. Even if it's a homeless person on the street. Even if it's... Uh, your neighbor who needs a bottle of milk for her child. Okay. Um, why you people support this woman and flock to her channel is beyond me. But I have three words. Are you insane? I mean that out of love. Out of love and compassion for you. Because I hate to see your soul get thrown off the path over a false prophet like that. And the Lord also told me, if you don't seek his counsel, it's utter blasphemy because you're leaning on your own understanding and strength rather than going to the most high for counsel, like it says in the word of God to do. Let's go on. In New York and stay at the, the Marriott. And all she did was go out in the street and yell at people. I mean, I, I, I have a lot of respect for street preachers, but I have never been led to go out with the sign and get in someone's face and just simply yell at them and condemn them. Tell them they're going to hell. That's not how I was raised. That's not my witness. I don't believe in it. Uh, honestly, if I was going to go out and street preach, it would be done in love. God loves you. God wants to save you. You know, the world is coming to an end. Can't you see it? Speaking the truth in love. Not screaming it and shouting it with a bullhorn right in their face. Of course, that's going to turn people off. Our life is to be a witness of Jesus Christ. Our life is the biggest testimony we have. How we live our life to our neighbors, to the people we work with. God has never commanded me to go out in the street and get a bullhorn and yell at someone and tell them they're going to hell. Another thing, if you are preaching the gospel, there's no need for you to publicize it. The Lord knows what you do in secret. If, like it says in the scriptures, I believe in the book of Matthew, don't be like the, the person that prays on the street Hypocrites. for anybody, every, everybody to see so they can get impressed and he can gain the glory of man because that's a hypocrite. You want to be meek and sober and pray in your closet to Jesus. You want to conduct your works for the Father in the same way, in secret. There's no need for you to publicize if you're preaching or donating or what have you. Okay? Because the only reason why a person would do that is for the glory of man. Okay? You can tell and talk about, um, you can talk and, and not show it, but you could talk about a positive work you did for someone and how it helped that soul and that brother or sister in Christ. You can talk about it in regards as a testimony to Jesus Christ, but there's no need for you to televise, okay, and put on YouTube videos showing you preaching and donating and baptizing because that's dead words because you're doing that for the glory of man. I'm not saying you personally, I'm just telling you what it is. And that's what this woman does. She does fake demonic deliverances. Okay. She does uh, the preaching. We need to talk about hell, but you have to preach uh, in love, but you also have to judge righteousness. So when you're preaching on the street, you preach in truth, you be bold, 
you preach in love and you let them know that the day of reckoning is at hand, that Jesus Christ is coming and that sinners that do not repent, repent or ye shall perish. Sinners that do not repent will face hell, condemnation. That is a fact that's in the word of God. Let's go on. Usually the result of that is zero souls one to heaven. Now you go up to someone and give them some water and give them some food and give them a Bible and tell them God loves you. That, that, that's, that's winning a soul into heaven right there. I can guarantee it. You know why? Because I practiced it. I've taken classes on soul winning in the four spiritual laws. These people just come out of nowhere. Leave the churches. That's what it says right here. Get out of the churches. Well, if I listened to her, I'd be sitting here isolated with, with no pastor, with no way to go pray with, you know, and, and so I consider her an enemy. So I pray for her. But I'm not going to hang with her. And I'm not going to support her. And I'm not going to send her money. Can you show me in the Bible where Jesus Christ said, after you consider someone an enemy, go hang with them? After you know someone's a false prophet, embrace them. God did not tell her, and I'm saying this for the final time, God did not tell her that we are to get out of the churches. I was talking with another minister right here locally the other day, Dean. He was saying, the churches are hospitals. We need to fill them up with sick people and lead them to the Lord. Not, I mean, look, the government has already taken over marriage nationwide. Are we to just let it take over churches too? Not every church is preaching uh, homosexuality is right and, or you know, the end is not near. I mean, I, I could go to any church right here around me and I could hear the truth being spoken. I don't know where these people live who are saying that they're not preaching the end times, but that's not the true message here, and I'm speaking the truth. The messages out here are screaming the Lord is returning, and they are against homosexuals. Okay, I'm going to stop there for a minute. Um, we are not be equally, we're not to be associated with sinners that refuse to repent. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to play a couple of more videos, a couple of more minutes of this video. If this does not open your eyes so that this woman is a false prophet, then, and that in the last days, a lot of false prophets will come forward, I don't know what will. Okay, when you expose a false prophet, they will send their minions after you, and they will falsely flag your channel and get it shut down. Okay, let's go on for a couple more minutes. So I'm starting to wonder where all these messages are coming from that the church is tolerating homosexuality because I have not seen it. Not in my church or any of the churches I, I watch or visit. So these are lies. Rachel, the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you for what you do. You don't want to hear this, but this is my calling. You need to repent to God. You have involved me and my family and people have stumbled and left their churches because you told them God told them to. Well, if God wouldn't use you to tell them to leave the church. He would tell them, but they're believing you and supporting you. So I ask right now for everybody following this false prophet, listen closely. I will go down to one subscriber and just close my channel. I never came here to be popular. I never came here with the donate button. I never came here to monetize my ads. People listen to me because they hear the truth. If you don't want to hear the truth, then unsub. If you are following and supporting a known false prophet who's been proven to be a false prophet by many, many, many watchmen, then unsub this channel now. I'll watch my numbers go down and shout hallelujah because they don't want to hear the truth and pray for you all. Go to my Google Plus and hit unfollow. I've done what I need to do here on YouTube. I have nothing to prove to anybody. I need to stand before God and say, Jesus, I stood for righteousness. I stood for the truth. I stood for what was found in your holy word of God. I stood for the logos. I spoke rhema words. I shared revelation. I'm going to stop there. So, with that being said, I'm going to remind you, please watch who you listen to. The spirit of false prophecy Jezebel and Satanism is rampant and loose. Do not take what I tell you at face value. Do not take what anybody tells you at face value 
Go to Jesus Christ. I am not here, okay, to, to for the approval of man, okay? I already told you that I'm not here to make, you know, I'm not here for views. I'm not here for subscribers. I don't care how many views or subscribers I get. I'm only here to bring the truth forth to you. Jesus told me to speak on this, and I'm speaking on it. You need to watch who you listen to. Things are messed up out there. They're getting worse. These are the last days. You cannot afford to let your crown be at risk for false prophets that are sent by Satan like this and that. Now the Lord used an evil agent to expose another evil agent. Okay? So please, ask the Holy Spirit for discernment. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. Ask the Lord Jesus Christ to give you ears to hear and eyes to see and a spiritual sense of smell that you could smell filth coming out of a false prophet's mouth. This person is an agent of the devil and you need to be very careful of false prophets like this. There's the proof, what I've been warning you about for months about this false prophet. Now, what you do with this information is up to you. I urge you to go to your prayer closet, okay? This person's evil fruits has been exposed.